This video is going to teach you how to use the ideal gas law. Now, this ideal gas law is the one time you absolutely have to use an equation. There's not another way to really explain this very well. Um, if you think of where the ideal gas law came from, it's taking all of the variables, P for pressure, V volume, T temperature, and N, the amount of gas, and incorporating them all into one equation. Now, we're going to start, actually, with our notes by writing down the equation. The equation is PV equals NRT. And I write that really big because that's the one equation that you really, really do have to know. Now, in high school, we always remembered it by the Pervnert equation. And that's probably a helpful acronym. But PV equals NRT is something that you are going to need to know. The variables in this equation are P, V, N, and T. R is known as the ideal gas constant. Now, the word constant implies that it's always going to be the same number, the same value. Now, it is to some degree. However, it will vary on the units of pressure. You have three different units of pressure. One of them is millimeters of mercury. If the pressure you're using in your formula is in millimeters of mercury, the R value you're going to need to use is 62.4 millimeters of mercury liters per mole K. Those are the labels. It's very confusing labels, very involved. The second R value that could be used is when you use atmospheres. And for that one, you're going to use 0.0. 0.821 atmosphere liters over mole K. So if your pressure were in atmospheres, you'd want to use this second R value. And then the last R value, I'm kind of running out of room here, I'll write it over a bit, is if you're in KPA. And that value that you want to use, for a pressure in KPA, you want to use an R value that has KPA in it. That value is 8.314 kPa liter per mole K. So it's your job to be able to find the R values that match. However, you do not need to memorize these numbers. I will give those to you on tests and quizzes. So these values you see, 62.4, 0 0.0821, and 8.314, you do not need to memorize them. Now, if you notice in the labels, the labels are kind of complicated. It implies a few things. When using the ideal gas law equation, which again, remind yourself, PV equals NRT. You have to remember that equation. You will have to use that. P is for pressure, which can be in either millimeters of mercury, TOR, atmospheres, or KPA. So you want to pick your R value to match your pressure unit. So if you use millimeters of mercury, the green R value is the one you'd want to use. Now, if you look at your volumes, volumes must be in liters. You have to have your volume in liters. You cannot do these problems in milliliters. If the problem has a volume in milliliters, you must first change it to liters. Or if it's in centimeters cubed, you must change it to liters. The letter N is the moles of the gas. And so you need to just convert. If it's not given as moles, you need to convert it to moles. Lastly, the temperature. I'm sure you'll know this, but it must be in Kelvin. You cannot do these problems if they are not. So in this case, these problems are slightly different than the ones we've done before. Because there's an equation, I think it's helpful to go list through the, the variables. I'm asking you in this example problem to calculate volume. I'm giving you 0.025 moles, so I'm giving you N. I'm giving you a temperature, and I'm also giving you a pressure. Now in this case, I think it's helpful to do what we teach you in algebra. 
list your variables. Volume is what I don't know. N is 0 0.0250 moles. T, temperature, 35 degrees Celsius cannot be used. You have to change that to Kelvin. And so 35 plus 273 makes 308 Kelvin. And then the last one, the last variable given in our problem is the pressure at 780 millimeters of mercury. Now, since we're solving for V, we can arrange PV equals NRT with the little algebra by just dividing both sides by P. So algebraically, what I am doing is I am taking V and I'm dividing by N times RT. Excuse me, I'm dividing NRT by P. So all you have to do now is plug your values in. N is 0 0.0250 moles. I do think it's helpful to write units down. The R value, this is the trickiest part. This decision that you have to make, you want to look at your pressure value. Since pressure was given at millimeters of mercury, the R value you want to use is 62.4 since it has millimeters of mercury in it. So we're going to use 62.4 millimeters of mercury liters divided by mole K. That's just its complicated label, and you'll see why it all has to be there in just a second. The temperature is 308 Kelvin, and you're going to divide by, the whole thing is going to get divided by the pressure of 780 millimeters of mercury. Now, a lot of you are going to try to punch numbers into your calculator, which is fine, but before you do that, just wait a second and look at labels. Moles cancels here. Millimeters of mercury cancel here, and Kelvin cancel there. So our answer, which we wanted, is a volume label of liters. So you can now plug this into your calculator. And if you do that correctly, you should get a volume of 0.616 liters. Now, the next thing for you to do is to try your learning check. And I want you to be careful on your learning check. When you list your variables out, make sure that all of the labels are the ones that they should be. Again, the labels that you have to watch out for, temperature must be in K, volume must be in liters, and um, the number of moles has to be given in moles. So good luck. If you have questions on that, let me know tomorrow in class.